If you're a coach or a consultant and you've got a book on Amazon and you want it to reach more people, we're talking 200 to 500,000 people every single month, or you'd like to get your coaching model of how you help people facilitate results so that you can make a greater impact by getting in front of an audience of 200 to 500,000, a book on Amazon is a great way to do that. And I'm going to share with you today right here in this video, how we've been able to reach 200 to 500,000 people every single month for every single book. So I want to share with you how we've been able to do this, a bit about the process, what's needed on Amazon, and a few things about the advantages of using Amazon KDP to publish your book. Although a lot of people can self-publish on Amazon KDP, I mean, you literally can just upload just about anything. And as long as it meets the bottom of the barrel specifications for Amazon, you can get a book up on Amazon KDP. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about just throwing trash up on Amazon and then having it get in front of hundreds of thousands of people. We're talking about a high, a high quality book that helps people and serves people. If you genuinely help people, if you genuinely serve people and you either have a book or you'd like to put together a book as a vehicle to reach that amount of people so that you can impact a, gr a greater audience, then keep watching. This video will be very, very helpful for you. So who is this for? This is someone that wants to impact more people. It's just a matter of being able to reach the right people and reach more people. You have a way that helps people like an expertise. A lot of the people we work with are coaches, consultants, maybe a course creator that helps people with skill development, transformation in some way. And you have a book on Amazon or you'd like to get a book published on Amazon as a vehicle to reach more people. So here's the, here's the typical problem. When you have a coaching consultant or a service business where you are transforming people's lives, you need to meet more people. And what a lot of people do is just go to networking events. They're networking around after um, 2020, which we all know what was going on in 2020. A lot of the in-person networking events completely shut down. And so what became popularized is in Zoom, the, you know, the online uh, video conferencing tool, Zoom, that I'm sure you were on this, <laughs> this morning or yesterday at some point because professionals seem to be on Zoom all the time. And so what's been popularized is to get on a quick Zoom chat. Now that you don't have to travel, you can get on Zoom chats. And it's leading to burnout. A lot of people are on Zoom constantly with these fruitless meetings. So that's one of the first challenges. A book allows you to get your business, your model, your results, and how you help people in front of a larger number of people using the Amazon platform. Um, the problem in writing a book itself, it can be complex, is to take your expertise and what you do without, you know, boasting or, um, yeah, boasting about what you do and making it all about ego. You want to turn that around and make this a book that's about the process of how you help people transform their life or their business in some way. And you also probably have limited time to to write. Maybe you've thought about writing a book or maybe your clients come to you and they say, uh, "Have you? where's your book? Have you authored a book or do you have a book? Um, but you're busy building your business. You're working with clients. And so I want to share with you um, some of our processes and how we've been able to do that in a very efficient way. And then let's say you do have a, you get through the process to have a book done. Now, how do you promote it? Now, this is this uh, completely different um, process that you need to put into place to be able to promote it. So I'm hoping mostly in this video is that promote it area uh, to give you some insight here. And then I'll share with you uh, a way to simplify this whole thing here at the end of the video. So I touched on this a little bit, so this will be brief. The frustration is selling your book one-to-one. -one. If you have a book that, that you're out there, you think, oh, this book's going to do all the magic for me. And a lot of authors will end up going and selling one-to-one. -one. If you're in person, it's a huge waste of time. It's not efficient at all to try to promote your book one-to-one. -one. And I've seen a lot of people do this, or I've heard a lot of uh, uh, people that do this, that they just get to the point of burnout and frustration because they're not able to reach the volume of people that it takes to be able to sell books consistently every day. They do lots of virtual coffee or Zoom meetings. And you want to use your book to reach new people uh, and impact more people. You know it has capability to do that. Or even if it's just your process, if you don't have a book in place yet, 
it's your process that you know can impact or help a lot of people. Uh, you just need to be able to reach those people. Or do you want to use the book to bring in new business revenue? I'm going to share with you in just a moment how we've been able to use a book, not only just to be able to reach people and, and get new clients as well, but it's a vehicle to bring in new business revenue. It's like a marketing vehicle that, that um, pays for itself. Imagine, you know, let's look at it in the inverse with Facebook ads. So you spend $1,000 on Facebook ads. The idea is that you can acquire a customer in some way and break even because then you can make money on the back end because you're helping and serving people on a greater level. It's the same kind of idea, but you can be very profitable on the front end. So you sell a book on Amazon and let's say, um, let's say it just hasn't, we'll use the same numbers. You spend $1,000 in advertising. What if we could bring you back 2000 or 3000 or 4000 in profit on the front end of the book sales, but then also you have the back end so you can help serve people in a bigger way, uh, way as well. So what are our, our results of this process? So we built a case study uh, right below as a free gift. I have outlined in this case study uh, our process and how we do this in a little bit more detail. So I'll give you that information uh, at the end of this video. It's at the below of this document. Um, we were able to launch a book in this case study. We documented, we've done this with, with hundreds of authors. Uh, we documented this in, in great detail of, of the process so that we can share with you how uh, you could put this into place as well. Um, we can help you with it, uh, but you can take this. This will be very valuable for you as well as you can take this and you can run with it and you can do it. If you want to save a bunch of time or you want someone to do it without all the trial and error, uh, I'd be happy to, um, uh, to share with you what that is as well. But this will be valuable what you get here. So we spent about $115 in ads and it brought in over $6,000 in royalties. I'll show you screenshots in just a moment. And this book is reaching over 200, uh, initially it was about 200,000. And then we adjusted and optimized some things and now it's reaching over a million people every single month on Amazon. So imagine if you could reach that many people and you can't take on that many clients, but what if you can impact that many people through your book and your message and your process of how you help and serve people? And then a percentage of those people will learn more about you. They'll get your courses, your workshops, or even maybe um, uh, ask you about your coaching or consulting or your services. So what do most people do? Most people spend hours in the writing process with no structure, no format, no system of how to write efficiently. So it takes five to 10, and I'm not exaggerating, five to 10 times as long as it should take by putting a book together. And then they go through the process of self-publishing if they end up going that route. And it's hours and hours and hours of trial and error and figure it out time. And that's massive wasted time. If you're an entrepreneur or business owner, think about how much you value your time. As you know, as a business owner myself, I value my time more than money for sure. And so if your time is that valuable, why would you spend five, 10, 15, 20 hours when you just follow a proven process and cut out all of that time? And then it's a matter of how do you promote it? Once your book is live on Amazon, how do you promote it? How do you reach that many people? So I'm hoping to share some insight here with you on that. So here's the new way. Here's our process. First thing is to build a book blueprint, just like building a home, just like building a business, just like building a piece of art that's big. We're not talking about a small project here. We're talking about something big that transforms lives. We're talking about reaching 200,000, 500,000, a million people a month. That's a lot of people. In order to do that, you need a plan and a structure and a blueprint. Similar to the way you build a custom home, you don't go and grab lumber at the lumber yard, throw it on, down on the ground, start hammering away, and hope you have a valuable home that grows in value over time. That is not the right way to do it. What you do is you get an architect to blueprint out the plans. Also, uh, with a visual here, uh, the example I like to give is with art as well. You can build a small little clay figurine no problem. You don't need a whole lot of planning. You don't need a whole lot of structure. But if you're building a large sculpture, like a life-size horse, as an example, which I'm going to show you this visual here, you need a plan and a structure. Otherwise, when you move this thing, it's going to break. It's going to fall apart. It's going to be too heavy to even move around. And so what a master sculptor does, or someone with experience, is they build out a wireframe. And that's like the blueprint of your book is you need a strong wireframe to support the book over time. So that way it builds in value as an asset over time. and doesn't just crumble after you get it up on Amazon. 
The second part of our three-phase process is the packaging and first impression does matter. If your book cover looks like it was designed on PowerPoint or it looks cheap, then your process will be perceived as cheap. The way you help people will be preserved, pre, um, perceived as cheap and your book will just be ghosted basically on Amazon. That's just what happens. And then three is launch and optimization. You want to work with the Amazon search engine. Okay. Amazon is a search engine. When customers go to Amazon, they type in words and phrases and keywords. And Amazon's job is to help find their solution as quick as they can. And also find something that's proven that customers find happy. And the way they do that with Amazon is with the reviews. So we want to optimize working with the search engine, which is what call, what's called on Amazon is the metadata. And the metadata is several different components. It's your book title. It's your subtitle. It's your book description. It's your keywords and your categories. Those are the, those are the major ones. All right. So launching and promoting books. There are two parts to this. There are paid promotions at a profit where you're spending, let's say hundred dollars on ads and you're getting more than hundred dollars back just on the book sales. And that's free traffic then to your website to sell courses, workshops, programs, services, or applying for your coaching in some way. Okay. Something on the back end, but you're, at, you're able to be profitable by reaching more people, which is an amazing, amazing thing. Then there's search. Uh, organic search is using Amazon's Amazon's uh, optimization, which I touched on, which is utilizing the metadata that they allow us to provide so that they can organically find more people. And I'm going to give you an example of that here below as well. So how do we find readers? So people go on to Amazon searching for books. Amazon's trying to find the right product based on the search in the quickest amount of time. And they have pages of pages. The, the best ones for their result will show up at the top. The ones that don't seem like they're a match show up on lower pages. So basically the formula is then how do we take that existing traffic? People are already searching, they're already getting search results. How do we put your book right in front of that? So first is paid placements. So this is a screenshot of the example that I gave you, which is in the case study, we go into this in, in greater detail, but this is $115 in ad spend to reach 169,000 people, $115 to reach 169,000 people. That's a lot of people. So imagine if you can get your business in front of that many people, over 160,000 people for just $115. You can transform lives, you'll be selling books, you'll be getting readers, you'll be building an audience, all of those things. But what's the result of that? The result is royalties. So in this uh, case study, this exact same book, in this exact same period of time, the royalties were 6,158. So look at that contrast there, $115 in ads with 6,000. Now that's not typical. That's not what always happens. That's not what we guarantee. But imagine if it was like a half or third that good. Imagine if you spent $1,000 in ads, which you don't spend that all at once, all in one month. We ramp it up and we look at it and analyze it and optimize it. So that it's a um, very conservative way to run ads, meaning you run $50, you make sure it's profitable. If it's not, you adjust something. Then when it's profitable, you raise up the budget and then you raise up the budget and then you raise up the budget. This one happened to be very profitable and this does happen. So $115 in ads in the same month, 6,000 in royalties. And now this same book, after a period of optimizing it, as you can see, the numbers going up and up and up and up, we're reaching over a million people in a month. So how does organic work? Organic are buyer keywords. So here's an example of one of the clients. This is what we do with our authors is we do the market research to find those traffic sources, the keywords, the categories, the metadata to put it into the book. So that way it is optimized properly and works with the search engine. So we do a search on Amazon bestsellers. We look at the books, we analyze them. We look at the keywords, the categories, the metadata, and then we have some tools where we can see search volume. So in this example, this is with a life coach We're looking at work life balance. We did a search. We found out with books on uh, Amazon books and Kindle store, that there are over 6,000 estimated month monthly search. These are 6,000 people looking for work life balance books, specifically books in that category, 6,000 a month. 
Then we looked at a broader category, just life balance, and there were 11,300. So a combination of the two, there are over 15,000 people actively searching for solutions on work-life balance in the books and, key, and um, Kindle book categories for that term. That's traffic that's already existing. So if we can capture a part of that traffic with a high quality book that's unique in the marketplace, which is what we help you do to do is to find that uniqueness, then you're going to win. Okay. So if you're writing a new book, uh, maybe it's your first book, uh, but you want it to be as efficient as possible, as effective as possible, or you want to promote an existing book to reach over 200,000 to 500,000 people a month, and you'll optimize it and reach as many people as possible. I have a new book strategy guide that I want to give you. I'll put it in the description below as well, but you can get it at yourbookblueprint.com. You'll get the guide, you'll get a short video that walks you through, and you get the full case study so you can go through it. And if I can be a resource to you in any way, or you want us to help you to reach several hundred thousand people every single month on Amazon, just reach out and be happy to speak with you. We don't have spots open all the time, but if we do have a spot open, be happy to chat with you about it. And if we don't have a spot open, we can put you on a wait list. And then as soon as we have a spot open up, we can let you know. So um, happy to see how we can help you. Hope you found this helpful. Either way, I'm sure you got something out of this. So drop in the comment below uh, what you got out of it or what you're going to do about it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.